Hello and welcome to this new video. I'm gonna show you how to configure Dynamic DNS Android client. First you should log in to your account and get the token of your hostname. Of course, I suppose you have already created a hostname. If not, then please log in to your admin account interface and create one before you can proceed further with the client configuration. Once you have the hostname and its token, please insert them in their corresponding fields of the Android Dynamic DNS Client's configuration interface. You can see that the Android client already detected your current public IP address. This IP address will be assigned to your hostname. This way, your hostname will be visible from outside your home network. When the IP address changes, the Dynamic DNS service updates your hostname's new IP address. As a result, your hostname is continuously reachable from outside. Enable the IP address update by switching on the button. It will take few minutes to get the update status. When the status shows the word good, this means that the hostname was updated with a new IP address. When the status shows the word no change, this means that the IP address did not change. When the status shows the word no host, this means that there is an issue with your configuration. In this case, please double check that you have entered the right hostname and token and that your internet connection is working. You can double check the IP update by having a look at your hostname's IP in your account's admin interface. 